Coming up on Around Kern County, February is Safely Surrendered Baby Awareness Month. We're sharing details on this important campaign and how you can get involved. And the March primary election is right around the corner. We're sharing everything you need to know about how to cast your vote when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. We're beginning this week's show with an important awareness campaign being led this month by Kern County's Department of Human Services. Anna Marie Odo has more. This week, our Board of Supervisors declared February as Safely Surrendered Baby Awareness Month here in Kern County. This campaign, organized by DHS, is in partnership with other local community groups working to make a difference. All month long, residents will see everything from PSAs to social media designed to educate and inform. The Safely Surrendered Baby Law helps vulnerable newborn infants at risk of abandonment by encouraging their parents or those in lawful custody to safely surrender them within 72 hours after birth, no questions asked. Once surrendered, these sweet babies can be then adopted and placed into loving homes. Nathan started his life out at 23 weeks premature and he was born at one pound, four ounces. He was 10 and a half inches long. And his birth mother made the selfless decision to safely surrender Nathan while at the hospital. That decision in the Safe Surrender program allowed Nathan to get the much needed care and the loving forever home that he needed. So as you can see, our family has been positively affected and impacted by the Safe Surrender program. At the heart, the Safe Surrender program is about saving lives. By providing a safe and confidential way to surrender newborns, we prevent tragic outcomes and offer hope to families in crisis. Throughout Kern County, a newborn baby can be safely surrendered into the hands of staff at any hospital, emergency room, or fire station. Here in Kern County, 98 newborn babies have been safely surrendered since 2008, including three just last year. To learn more about this meaningful campaign, please visit kcdhs.org. We're less than one month away from California's March 5th primary election. And if you're a Kern County registered voter, expect your voter information guide from California's Secretary of State and sample ballot to be hitting your mailbox if it hasn't already. And as of today, all Kern County registered voters should have received their mail-in ballots from Kern County's elections office. If for some reason you haven't, please contact that office to have it reissued at 661-868-3590 or email elections at kerncounty.com. You can also visit them in person at 1115 Truxton Avenue in Bakersfield on the first floor during normal business hours. Our Auditor Controller County Clerk, Amy Espinoza, joins us now with all of the ways we can share our voice this election season and how she's working to ensure the process is safe and smooth. We have security measures in place. There are physical security um, around the ballots, for example. So once ballots are voted, they do require two people to be with the ballots at all times. There's a strict security log from the time um, our voted ballots are boxed up at the poll sites until they get to our office and they're reconfirmed that those seals have not been broken. And then once we start processing, there's reconciliations throughout the process. Well, voters should know that regardless of how they vote, whether they're voting their vote by mail ballot or they come into the poll place on election day, um, it's really important that everyone understands every single ballot we receive is counted and every single vote is included in our final results. For more information, please visit kernvote.com. And we're ending today with a new way you can get healthy this year. During this week's board meeting, Kern County Public Health launched their 2024 initiative, A Healthier Kern, One Heart at a Time. This campaign will focus on the top 10 health-related challenges and how educating and empowering people one heart at a time can help us build a healthier Kern. In addition to the top 10 health-related issues, Public Health is partnering with community members and county staff to highlight the reasons they want to live a healthy lifestyle in hopes of inspiring Kern County residents to live a healthier life. A Healthier Kern was devised in response to the evolving landscape of public health challenges. 
As we continue to recover from the lasting effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, we recognize that numerous public health challenges persist, if not have even worsened, requiring a comprehensive long-term approach. A Healthier Kern focuses on addressing 10 major public health challenges, including improvements to healthcare systems, mental health crisis support, tackling substance abuse, infectious disease control, reducing food insecurity, ensuring food safety, promoting sexual and reproductive health, protecting environmental health, and combating and managing chronic diseases such as cancer and diabetes. You can join in on the fun by sharing your health journey on social media with the hashtag HealthierKern or following public health. For more information, please visit kernpublichealth.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.